Hello everyone, this is Nikita. Thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we would create a job scheduler from scratch and then see if it is running or not. Also, we would trace the job scheduler and look for any error if it has occurred. So without wasting any time, let's jump into our video. So this is my application. Now I would create a job scheduler. So I'll go to sysadmin and then to the job scheduler. I will create one job scheduler. So this is a test demo job scheduler. Okay. So now what I will do is I will save, create and open this job scheduler. So what do we see? First of all, do you want to enable or disable it? So I will enable it. I'll keep the associated with no type as background processing and runs on either you want it to run on all associated nodes or any one associated node. I'll run it in any one associated node. Okay. Now, uh, when do you want it to be scheduled? Multiple times a day, daily, weekly, monthly or yearly. So let me run it for daily, every one day and with some time. Let me give some time now. So I'll give it as 12.45 apply. Okay, uh, time zone, I'll give it as Asia, Calcutta. Okay, now what is the context? I will take it as system runtime context. Now, what is a class? So, my class would be, I'll give it as work class. What is the activity that I want to run? First of all, what is my use case? What should the job scheduler do? So the use case would be, uh, I want to resolve all the cases in onboarding class where the status is new. So wherever you see the status as new in the onboarding class, I want to change the status as resolve closed. Basically, I want to resolve the cases altogether. Now for that, I'll create an activity, resolve onboarding class Re resolve onboarding case okay so let me create it okay so now what do i want this activity to do first of all i will uh, create a page so page new onboarding case and pages and classes I'll give this class what should be the next step in the next step I want to basically browse all the onboarding cases where the status is new Okay, so for that I will have a OBJ browse. Okay, a page name would be same. I want to have one class, uh, the class of the onboarding case. Okay, what is the maximum record? Mm, I'll just give something as 500. I think 500 is the maximum that I'll get here. Okay, so what is the logic? Logic is I want to check the onboarding cases where the status is py status work. This is the property where the case status is stored. And the condition would be is equal and I'll check for new. Okay. Browse the list of onboarding case with status as new. Okay, what should be the next step? whenever we do an obj browse the result would come in px results because that's the uh, default page list right 
so the page name is onboarding case but the result would come inside onboarding case within px results so we basically have to have another page uh, so the onboarding case would be code pega list and within onboarding case you will have a px results so the class of that px result should be the onboarding class because all the properties would be in the onboarding class only okay so you can basically do this now what is the next step in the next step you have to uh, basically browse through the page list okay so for that you will need to loop the for each embedded page okay so what is the class on which you have to loop you will have to loop it within onboarding case dot px results okay so this is the thing now uh, after the result what you have to do when after the result you get you need to open uh, those cases and resolve those uh, cases specifically and change the status to resolve closed for that i will need to have the key to open the keys so what is the key through which we can open that's the pz ins key whenever you have the pz ins key easily you can open it through obj open by handle so we will do the same but for that i need to have the pz ins key with, with me so for that i will first see if i can get the pz ins key also so use a select value only because I just want the value. I don't want any condition as equal or not equal, whatever. So only value only sufficient for me. Right now, what I need to do is I need to loop through the cases and get this PZ ins key somewhere. Keep the PZ ins key maybe in a parameter. So param dot PZ ins key and uh, this PZ ins key which I have got from OBJ browse I'll save this in the parameter okay now what is the next step that I have to do I need to open the case and close it or force close those so for that I will have a child within this step and I need to first create a new page page to resolve page uh, so for that I need to declare this page in pages and classes to resolve and the class would be the onboarding class now the next step would be opening this uh, opening this case so which open by handle uh, I need to provide the instance handle. So this is the one. Now uh, give the page here as well. You need to open and do something on the case. For that it is very important to have a lock on the case. So I will click on lock and also release on commit because I want it to be committed as soon as possible. After we are committing it, we want this particular lock to be released. Now the next step would be what should be the next step I need to force close this case okay so for that I will use a activity px force px force case close okay and what is the page to resolve page now you need to provide the work object id that is the param pz ins key and what is the work status resolved closed uh, do you want to put some audit note here yes i can put an audit note is um, closed through a job scheduler now commit since you are using this uh, px force case close uh, even if you don't use obj open by handle it, it will work so let me try 
you can comment this obj open by handle now and do a save because it is also doing a commit on the case so i think it should work but let's try okay now you need to do a page remove since all those pages are unutilized okay so you have to create one step after this where you will uh, remove all the pages which you don't need anymore so i don't need this page i don't need to resolve page so this we can remove it right now i'll check in okay so i will run this job scheduler i don't have to run basically because we have given some time to it so what is the time we have given we have given 12:45 let's change this let's give it as 12:24 we will apply and then do a save so at 12:24 pm of asia calcutta this should run okay so let's uh, go to admin studio and see whether it is running or not okay uh, we'll go to resources and jobs okay this is the job scheduler that i have created it is saying that it will run at 154 am on 27th of december what i'll do is i'll trace it trace you can trace in any node now we just need to wait and see whether my job scheduler is running or not we can wait for few minutes and then then we will see this is running okay so i see my job scheduler has run already so for that what i need to do is so i will now need to check whether my uh, onboarding cases have been resolved or not so for that let me go to my dev studio and check my uh, onboarding cases so now i have so many okay so you can see now the job scheduler we just created it has resolved those cases which were in new status let me open any one of them and see whether it ran fine or not so you can see it has been set as resolved closed and this has been done by job scheduler uh, you can see the case id let me go to clipboard and see more details on this so if you can go to py work page you will see uh, you will see the resolve summary this is very important for you to know who has resolved this so you can see this shows that it has been set to resolve closed and the time stamp uh, at which it got resolved and who has resolved it and the username of that uh, person so this is this is the way you can know who has resolved your cases okay so uh, you you can see the job scheduler has run fine and it has um resolve the cases and whenever you have any doubt in your job scheduler the best way is go to admin studio and trace that job scheduler when you uh, trace this you will immediately know in which step you had that issue and you would be able to fix them so this was all about job scheduler i hope this was useful to you so we would come again with the next video very soon thank you so much for watching this video till then bye bye